back to the latest edition of Patriot News. I'm Grace O'Leary. And I'm Sierra Cross. We're and back and, and better, better than, than ever. ever. Thanksgiving Day and we're gathered round Little children make a joyful sound And there's no school and we get to play And we're all thankful for this day Except for the turkey La 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 Except for the turkey There's a wreath of leaves on the front door And we all say what we're thankful for There's such good food and there's such great fun And there's such big smiles on everyone Except for the turkey La 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 Except for the turkey We all join hands and sing the song With happy hearts and a love that's strong We bow our heads then we have our feast It's a lovely day to say the least Except for the turkey La 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 Except for the turkey So if you're a turkey and you're still alive You might kinda wanna hide Or soon you'll probably be dead meat On this festive day you're what we eat So fly away to a distant land Where people think turkeys are grand Spread your wings and soar up high And be thankful birds can fly Except for the turkey La 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 Except for the turkey It's Thanksgiving Day and we're gathered round Little children make a joyful sound There's such good food and there's such great fun It's a happy Thanksgiving for everyone Except for the turkey La 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 Except for the turkey This is our Thanksgiving edition So let's gobble it up, shall we? This is the time of the year to be thankful so why not start your Thanksgiving broadcast with a what are you thankful for segment? Check it out. I think I'm thankful for just my family. I'm a wreck without them. I'm also thankful for the talents I have too. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Lauren? Um, I'm thankful for my family and for good health. I'm thankful for my friends because they're always there for me and they need help. Galilee or Shank, what are you thankful for? I'm thankful for Grace O'Leary because I love her so much and she's so amazing. Actually, there isn't. <laughs> Just <sorry. laughs> Okay, switch. There isn't any one thing to be thankful for. I think there's a lot of things to be thankful for. We can walk, we can think, we can see, we can hear, all of those things. And that's about it, I think. Miss Fitz, what are you thankful for? I'm thankful for all of my wonderful students. Especially oh. your, what hour do we have it? Fourth, fourth hour. Fourth well, hour. Mine's on my second yeah, hour. Yeah, second hour. No, you're thankful for the second hour. I don't want to pick favorites. Do you know anything about the history of Thanksgiving? No, I do not. I, nope. I know that pilgrims made it with the Indians and the Native Americans. Right. What about you, Mariah? Do you know anything about the history of Thanksgiving? Nope. No. Could you tell me? Sure. Well, Orion was sort of right about the whole pilgrims migration thing, but that's not the whole story. I'm here to clear this all up for you. Back in 1621, the Plymouth colonists and Wampanoag Indians shared a holiday known as the Autumn Harvest Fest. This is now known as Thanksgiving. For more than two centuries, we celebrated this as individual colonies and states. It wasn't until 1863, in the midst of the Civil War, when Abraham Lincoln proclaimed we have a National Thanksgiving Day that we hold each November. So, good job to Orion for getting some of that right. But, anyways, I hope that cleared some of it up for you. For many of us, the meaning of Thanksgiving includes turkey, long weekends, family vacations, football, and the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. The first Thanksgiving, however, was neither a feast nor a holiday. As I explained earlier, following the Mayflower's arrival at Plymouth Rock in 1620, the Pilgrims suffered the loss of 46 of their original 102 colonists. With the help of 91 Indians, the remaining Pilgrims survived the frigid weather and held a big harvest in 1621. It lasted three days. 
Thanksgiving means something special to many. The following will show you some famous quotes from some very famous figures. Take a look. Those quotes were amazing, and ending it with Abraham Lincoln brought chills. Speaking of Abraham Lincoln, did you know that on this day back in 1863, President Lincoln boarded a train to Gettysburg to deliver a speech at the cemetery of soldiers killed during battle there? The address he gave became one of the most famous speeches in U.S. history. Check it out. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation, conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Now we are engaged in a great civil war, testing whether that nation or any nation so conceived and so dedicated can long endure. We are met on a great battlefield of that war. We have come to dedicate a portion of that field as a final resting place for those who here gave their lives that that nation might live. It is altogether fitting and proper that we should do this. But in a larger sense, we cannot dedicate, we cannot consecrate, we cannot hallow this ground. The brave men, living and dead, who struggled here have consecrated it far above our poor power to add or detract. The world will little note nor long remember what we say here, but it can never forget what they did here. It is for us, the living, rather, to be dedicated here to the unfinished work which they who fought here have thus far so nobly advanced. It is rather for us to be here, dedicated to the great task remaining before us, that from these honored dead we take increased devotion to that cause for which they gave the last full measure of devotion, that we here highly resolve that these dead shall not have died in vain that this nation, under God, shall have a new birth of freedom, and that government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth. What a powerful speech. In other news, did you know that it's Mickey Mouse's birthday? No, I didn't. That's cool. Mickey is a funny animated cartoon character and the original mascot of the Walt Disney Company. He was created by Walt Disney at the Disney Studios in 1928. Mickey has become one of the most recognizable cartoon characters in the world. 
Disney wouldn't be what it is today if Walt Disney didn't have such a creative imagination. A mouse in a dream. So to honor Mickey on his big day, here's a musical tribute for all of us to enjoy. come true this Saturday is National Adoption Day each year on the Saturday before Thanksgiving National Adoption Day takes place across the United States this day raises awareness for the hundreds of thousands of children in foster care this day has helped many children and families dreams come true here's one particular story check it out for Ali Ali and Jason Belkis the journey started last August the happy kids Real happy kids, they're beautiful. When they met Anna and Evelyn and started the adoption process. Just just very happy that um, that everything's going to come full circle now. Three years old, Anna is the big sister type. She's very caring and um, cautious of Evelyn. At 21 months old, Evelyn is the baby of the family. And she's just like the funniest, easiest, cutest yeah. baby. A little troublemaker. A little, little bit of a troublemaker. <laughs> Both of the curly hair, doe eyed girls adore Jason, the Belkis' nine year old biological son. Uh, we really wanted to have other children. In court, he sat straight and looked right at the judge, taking on the role of protective big brother perfectly. So support for this family showed me everything that I need. No. Traveling from all over the country, family members and friends came to witness the high school sweethearts become adoptive parents. We have a um, very, very happy house. And as the gavel struck, making it official. The family beamed with happiness. 
With the paper signed, the adoption is now irrevocable. On a dirt road in Methuen is a house they bought in May. Jason has done most of the work, gutting the kitchen, installing new floors, and turning what was an abandoned house into a home. A home where the family is celebrating the official new additions. It's just certain now. It's we're a family. There are more than 300 events held throughout the United States each year on National Adoption Day. Great story. Here's an interesting story. I bet you thought that Black Friday is the busiest shopping day of the year, right? Is it? It has been for the past several years, but experts say that this year it's about to lose its title of busiest shopping day. Now, I'm curious, when will be the busiest shopping day? According to Retail Next, a firm that tracks retail shopping traffic, says it will be December 23rd. Black Friday is still supposed to draw huge crowds, ranking second according to Retail Next. So, to help you prepare for this hustle and bustle of the holiday shopping season, here are the top 10 expected busiest shopping days for this year's season. Take a look. watching a nice Thanksgiving movie or two. Good idea. I think I'll watch A Charlie Brown Thanksgiving. A Charlie Brown Thanksgiving is an animated TV special based on the comic strip Peanuts, written by Charles M. Schultz. It was first aired on CBS on November 20th, 1973, and won an Emmy Awards the following year. Here's a sneak peek. Peppermint Patty's invited herself, Marcy, and Franklin over for Thanksgiving dinner. Dinners? Thanksgiving is more than eating. We should just be thankful for being together. I'll be watching that for sure. Another great Thanksgiving movie is Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. It stars Steve Martin and John Candy. When Neil Page, played by Steve Martin, is trying to get home to Chicago to spend Thanksgiving with his family, his flight gets rerouted due to a freak snowstorm, and his sanity gets tested. Worse yet, he is forced to hang out with talkative Dale Griffin, played by John Candy, who he finds extremely annoying. Together, they must overcome the insanity of holiday travel to reach their intended destination. For more, take a look. During holiday travel, some people get delirious. Some get delayed, and some get <laughs> Del Griffin. American Light and Fixture, Director of Sales, Shower Curtain Ring Division. Neil Page got all three. I was on my way home to spend a nice holiday with my family. Instead, I'm in a motel bed with a stranger. So instead of Thanksgiving with his family, he's spending three days with the turkey. People! Two happy clams just whistling down the road. Flintstones, meet the Flintstones, they're the Marconi family. Paramount Pictures presents Wilma! Steve Martin. You ever been to Hawaii? Yeah. You see Don Ho while you were there? See the second show, that's the best one. Is that right? Yeah. John Candy. Why are you holding my hand? Where's your other hand? 
between two pillows. Those aren't pillows. In a new film by John Hughes, planes, trains, and automobiles. See that Bears game last week? Yeah, hell of a game. Hell of a game. That movie looks cool. I have, I'll have to check it out. Speaking of cool, have you heard of the Mannequin Challenge? I sure have. The Mannequin Challenge is a viral internet video trend that started recently where people remain frozen while video is recording, usually with music in the background. It is believed that this phenomenon of remaining motionless was started by students from Edward H. White High School in Jacksonville, Florida last month. The initial posting has inspired others to do this, especially athletes and actors. So of course, we here at Patriot News want in on the act. Without further ado, take a close look at this. We mentioned a while back that MHS has a paintball team led by Mr. Yoder. Well, if you are still interested, they may they meet each Friday between now and the end of the semester. For more, check this out. I can hang out of the bunker as long as I want. I feel like I can get out of planes. If you catch me at the border, I'll go visit them. If you come around here, I'll okay. make them all day. I, I get a one down in a second quick. if you wait. Yeah. I fly like people get high like planes. If you catch you me at the border, I got visas in my name. Quick. If you come around quick. here, I'll quick. make them all day. Oh. I get a one down in a second if you wait. Sometimes I right think sitting on trains. Every stop I get to, I'm cooking my game. Everyone's a winner, we're making my fame. Bonafide fight, hustle, I'm making my name. Sometimes I think. Sitting on trains Every stop I get to I'm clocking that game Everyone's a winner We're making our fame Bonafide hustler Making my name From paintball to a faculty quiz Our news reporters set out To give a pop quiz to a few of our teachers did they get any questions right? Well, check it out. All right. How high must a cranberry bounce before it can be harvested? Um, uh, probably about two and a half feet. Um, how many pilgrims were on the Mayflower when it began? Pilgrims were on the Mayflower? I'm going to say 75. Right. Is Thanksgiving only celebrated in America? Yes. All right. After the turkey is finished cooking, it must stand for 15 minutes because after the turkey's finished cooking it has to sit for 15 minutes so that when you cut it it doesn't dry out the original thanksgiving lasted how long uh three days, three days. is thanksgiving only celebrated in the united states no canada has a thanksgiving as well um how many pilgrims were on the mail mayflower when it began Eighteen thousand nine hundred seventy-two. How high must a cranberry bounce before it can be harvested? <laughs> I have no idea. 
How many turkeys are cooked each Thanksgiving in America? 32 million. Okay. Butterball says uh, when the turkey is done cooking, it should stand for 15 minutes because... I have no idea. I'm a vegetarian. Thank you. All right. How high must cranberry bounce before it can be harvested? How high can it... By feet. Um, <laughs> all right. How many pilgrims were on the Mayflower? 102. Um, okay, after the turkey is finished cooking, how long must it stand? As long as you keep it at the temperature of 165 degrees and above, maybe a couple hours. Mayflower was not built as a passenger ship. What was it originally built for? Mayflower. To come to a con come and discover a new country. Is Thanksgiving only celebrated in America? No. All right, thank you. How many pilgrims were on the original Mayflower? How many pilgrims were on the original Mayflower? You were asking the wrong person. <laughs> like 500? Okay. Um, how high must a cranberry bounce for it to be harvested? Uh, two feet. Um, after the turkey is finished cooking, how long must it sit? Must it sit? Uh, half hour? Thank you. How, how high must a cranberry bounce before it can be harvested? Hmm, do cranberries bounce? Yes, they do. Okay, and you know the answer? Yes. Okay, well, then why don't you answer it for our listening audience? <laughs> Four inches. Four inches. All right. Now, how many pilgrims were on the original Mayflower? How many pilgrims? Yes. Jeez, I don't know. Uh, do you know their names? They related to you? No. No. Uh, 32? Right. After the cookies finished cooking, it must stand for 15 minutes. Why? Must stand for 15 minutes because there's no seats available? They can't sit down? What? Were you thinking we'd provide you with the correct answers? Sorry, try Googling it. Moving on, Thanksgiving is a time to give thanks, eat a lot of food, and travel. In the U.S., Thanksgiving is the second most traveled holiday, only behind Christmas. In Gatlinburg, Tennessee, the Great Smoky Thanksgiving Arts and Crafts Show is a great place to find unique gifts. Maybe go to the Big Apple and enjoy the Thanksgiving Day Parade, like the Maya Mary Dancing is, or Santa Barbara in California with its mild year-round climate. Wherever you are this Thanksgiving, hopefully the weather will be nice. For more, let's go to Sierra. For Thanksgiving in Gallup, the weather will be a high of 56 and a low of 26, so wrap up. If you're looking to travel someplace warm for Thanksgiving, head over to the East Coast where they're experiencing weather in the 70s and above. Areas like Montana and Washington will also be experiencing some warm weather. It will get as high as 78 degrees with a low of 57 degrees. Happy Thanksgiving and back to you. Well, that about wraps it up for this edition of Patriot News. We hope you enjoyed it. From all of us here at Patriot News, happy Thanksgiving. And as always, Go Patriots! Patriots.